So, uh, Merry Christmas Eve, I think. Hopefully this video gets uploaded by Saturday. We meet again, and this is one of the last videos I'm going to be able to make before New Year's, and next week I think it's going to be a really trolly video. Just prepare. It's a little surprise, okay? But I realized I haven't ranted about some people in a long time, and sometimes you just need to let out your feelings, because you guys all know about my worst English teacher and how much I hate her as a teacher, not a person. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Also, I'm gonna be that YouTuber who says, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification button. Is that how people say it? Because apparently everyone's losing subscribers and they're all desperate for attention. But today, by the title, you can tell that I'm gonna be talking about my two worst piano teachers. And I've had around four, I think. And if you keep on watching, you'll see why these two are related in a weird way. So the first one I had was the first teacher ever. And I had her for around eight years. And her name is Marina. Sounds like an old lady name, I know. Just bear with me. So when I got to middle school, I realized that around like six of my friends who I knew had her as well. And we all hate her. Mainly because she's cheap, she wastes time during her lessons, and she's just a jerk. So for example, every time I go to a competition, since I've been with her the longest out of every other student, and I'm like the teacher's pet or whatever, she always asks me, can I ride with you guys? Which is kind of weird because I'm driving the teacher even though she kind of has to drive herself because she needs to be there earlier which means I had to get there earlier. And my dad always complained about wasting gas money which I know it's, it's a big deal gas money. Apparently it costs so much. And it kind of ticked me off because usually when I get inside a car I like to be alone and watch videos or listen to music or possibly do homework. But no, this woman like interviews me about my music and just asks me are you ready for this 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 and like makes a whole list for me to answer and the trips were long they're like an hour each because i had to go from the edge of south carolina to the very center of it and then do that around three times per year then there's the fact that she wastes so much time in her classes and that they're pretty expensive when i first worked with her she said it was 60 dollars per hour which means every second i'm wasting one penny i think no, which means every minute I'm wasting a dollar. And sometimes she takes up all 60 minutes simply writing finger numbers. I remember I was just sitting on the bench waiting for her to finish. She just slowly drew the two and then the five and then a three, four. And my mom was there the whole time and she was like furious with her. Then there's the fact that she makes up lies in her classes. You know when I'm right and wrong and she makes up these lies saying like, I played this note wrong, go back a measure. I played that phrase wrong, go back a whole page. And if you think about it, it she's just wasting time to slowly get through a piece so we don't like... It's making me very mad. She just wastes time, that's about it. So I didn't tell her I was planning on leaving her until like the day of. And when I told her I wasn't going to her anymore, she said, you have to stay with me. I'm the best out of everyone. She's a teacher who teaches in her home with the man who smokes pretty sure, whose son also smokes outside and inside the house, and she wants to tell me she's the best out of everyone in my area. And a little more about the son. If you play piano or violin, you should know what a concerto is, and it's basically like a group of people playing one song. So I'm on the piano, and his son is a viol violinist? He plays the violin. But I remember one time we were waiting for him at the recital for around one hour because he got lazy and he was apparently smoking outside. And I don't even know what happened, but to wait one hour for one guy to finish a cigarette, I think he should lose his job. And the worst part is he's related to Marina, so he can't lose his job because he's her son. So while I was storming out of the door because I didn't want any more with her, I didn't want to talk to her at all, she says, wait, stop. And I turn around and directly say to her face, the reason why I'm going is because you're cheap, horrible, and you waste my time. Goodbye. And that's the last thing I ever said to her. So maybe like three months after with my new teacher who works in... So maybe three months after when I'm with my new teacher, my friends tell me that she still talks about me to my face because I was like one of the best, I think. And according to her, I am regretting every decision I ever made. She thinks I should have stayed with her, but, but I learned more with the new teacher already. Then comes my new teacher who lives in New Jersey because I moved. Her name is Vita, which is another old lady name. And when I got to her house, instantly she says, Oh, could you please take off your shoes? I have extra slippers. You have extra slippers? She has around 10 extra slippers that are like perfectly aligned on the side of the door for me to apparently change into them. And yes, I guess she wants her house to be clean, but I don't think slippers is the best 
first impression. And then I look to the side of her laptop and I see that she grades her students. You know when you're at school and you have the teacher who has like a huge list of her students or his students and all the grades are listed? That is exactly what I saw on hers. Anyways, when I show her my books, she says, oh, you have blank edition. I don't know what it's called. She has like some sort of foreign work. There are like 10 different editions for every single piano book out in the world. So it's kind of confusing. Right to my face, she says, no, you need the Henley edition. And I didn't say anything back, but in my mind, I don't think it really matters. It's still the same notes, maybe like a couple differences. Maybe there's different markings, but I don't think you need to have one specific edition because you favor that better than the others. So she makes me rebuy all of my books. She makes me buy this notebook that isn't even a notebook. It has scores inside of it. Now, the reason why I talk about these two together conjointly is because Vita knows Marina. Let that sink in for a little bit. A teacher who is in New Jersey knows my old teacher, my old teacher in South Carolina. Out of everyone possible, these two know each other, and I'm both their teachers. There are around, I'd say, 10 million pianists out in the United States, and I chose the two that know each other. Apparently, she studied with Marina at like some university or something, and they're both Russian, which, no offense towards Russians, but I have a bad vibe towards them because my old teacher was Russian. So, those are my two worst piano teachers that happen to know each other. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, better yet subscribe, I post videos every Saturday, blah blah blah, you know the gist, and make sure to hit the notification button. Have a great Christmas, and if you're Jewish, have a great Hanukkah, and if you're any other religion, I don't know your holiday, Merry Easter or whatever, but I love you guys and everything is less than three. And once again, I'm sorry if you have epilepsy.